What's up guys, I hope you're all well. Today we're checking out Open All Hours, Series 4, Episode 3, The Housekeeper Caper. Ooh, they're getting a housekeeper? I can't wait to see this. Let's get into it, shall we? Get extras like that on a Morrisman minor. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Fetch your cloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's good. <laughs> Uh, he's got flowers for her. I don't think that was her. Oh, it was. Okay. Morning, Granville. Good morning. Thank you, Granville. I put them straight in a bottle. Great, Granville. I've never been kissed on the elbow before. <laughs> Ooh, still, it were dark. I'm much better when I've woken up. Can you come back when I've woken up? I think you really need a steady girlfriend, Granville. He does. Oh, no. I'm more like your footloose, love him and leave him type, me. No, uh -uh. On the other hand, if you know someone who you think could learn to like her elbows being kissed. Ah. Oh. On the cash. Gross. Well, those are useless. I wish you'd get close that. An extra space like that could double the rates. <laughs> is that the uh, paper man in sight yet? No, that uh, paper man isn't in sight yet. What would a uh, paper man be doing out in the middle of the night? All right, they don't get your milk bottles in a twist. You'll be turning that sour, you know. Yeah, I think I already have. While everyone else is out enjoying their young manhood, I'm stuck here making emotional YouTube yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to have a little tantrum, you can accompany yourself on the feather duster. I... There you are. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, they don't just stand there. Get, get flicking. Get flicking what? Get uh, flicking on with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that I've never known that... These bottles are very warm, Granville. I've noticed this in you. You have a tendency to overheat your bare, bare bottles. <laughs> <laughs> I shudder to think what that means in their Freudian terms. I think she likes me, the milk woman. Oh, really? What, just casual or enough to give us a discount? <laughs> you got no soul. Damn. What do you ever think about his money? Hey, money. you watch your mouth. I didn't bring you up to be discourteous about the money. What about passion and adventure? No. Look at her. You've got to learn to pace yourself in life, right. eh, Granville. You're no good to anyone overextended, are you? You've got to take things as they come. Your mother knew how. She used to take anything that come. <laughs> One day all this will be yours, Granville. No, no, it won't. Not if you can find a way to take it with you. <laughs> we'll have to bury you in this lot in a great big container. You'll never be satisfied with a coffin. You wouldn't let us fasten the lid down for a start. You know, it'd be the first time you've ever been closed in daylight. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. bearing up very well for an errand boy in pain. 
<laughs> I'm not in pain. Oh, <laughs> you are now, buddy. How much sooner we of the older generation have noticed <laughs> that sort of thing. Almost a telepathic we are. <laughs> Mind you, still in our prime, I might add. Still for fully functional. If only I could persuade a certain state-registered person, he said, time to start me motor. <laughs> Gee, fritters her life away, God bless her, for feeding her ageing mother. Why don't you find her a good home, I say, in the country? There must be some country that'd take her. <laughs> it's not my fault. Oh, you notice, nice. Daniel, very good. It gives me confidence I'm doing right in making you deputy manager. Yeah. Deputy manager with one foot. Oh, you don't know. You're born. In my young day, errand boys were employed specifically for the purposes of being there to trod on. <laughs> We've had a bad day. We used to say, let's go go and tread on an errand boy. <laughs> <laughs> and do you think it did him any harm? No, of course not. Kept him healthy like getting him up early in the morning. The place was full of healthy cripples. <laughs> you think you get up early, do you? Let me tell you, in my mm -hmm. young day, they sometimes had got us up before we went to bed. <laughs> that out. You don't think that huh. paper man could be late, do you? Because there's a, a crisis in the street. Ambulance, maybe, are rushing to take oh, you the aged to relative paper of my news. beloved off to intensive eating somewhere. <laughs> no, I expect the twit's just parked up there checking his bingo numbers. What's so important right. about the paper this morning? I can't hear that feather duster going, uh, Granville. <laughs> <laughs> That's more like it. Nothing so soothes a shopkeeper as the sound of a, of a well-aimed feather flicking round his comestibles. <laughs> right. There must be more to life than this. <laughs> oh, where did I go wrong, eh? I mean, you know, I could have been anything, couldn't I, eh? Mm -hmm. I could have been a... I could have been a captain in the Paris. A one-parent family. <laughs> Could have been an astronaut. <laughs> Could have been a gastronaut. I'm so hungry. Hey, what right. here? What time do you call this? What? What are you looking for? Happiness, uh, Granville. How <laughs> can we afford it? That's found in the back the page. Sending it back. No, no, for those with the necessary skills and ingenuity, it can come for fairly cheaply. Here it is, look, there it is. My, my, my master stroke. Listen to this here. <clears throat> A wanted, live-in housekeeper. Good home in exchange for the light duties. Apply in person to Arkwright's Superstores. Oh, there you go. What is no blood is going to say? Exactly. Eh? There you have her. Put your finger on it. Which is more than I've been able to do lately. <laughs> I'll tell you what Nurse Gladys is going to say. She's going to say, hey, up, I better marry him quick. Yeah. He's getting a bit restless. And thus, with one masterstroke, I have brought my years of frustration uh, to an end. <laughs> and we all know which end, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there's no sh sugar in them. Eh? Oh. Hey! Watch it. <coughs> I don't know why it keeps that are, stupid dear. tin on top Call of the again, register. It keeps falling off. You don't get much for your money these days. Oh, but then you no, never you did, don't. you see. It's just that the much you didn't get then was my much muchier than the, the much you don't get so much of now. <laughs> I know I can't understand it either. Hey, Nurse Gladys is going to kill you. <laughs> she probably knows how to do it without leaving a trace. Nurse right. Gladys will be overcome with remorse for not having snatched me up in the first place. What are you going to do with a live-in housekeeper, anyway? I'm not sure that's a, a proper question for an errand boy. Mm. Oh, which bedroom is she going to have? She's not having mine. <laughs> really need it. <laughs> Entertaining. Entertaining? Since when did you do any entertaining? I may be starting. Don't take me for granted. I'm on the verge of a much richer social life. Oh, I see. That's your game, is it? Listen, I'm having no errand boys on the verge while, while the management's going short. That is going to be my bachelor pad. I'm going to redecorate it. I'm going to put in some subdued lighting to set off me model aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, right. Dear. I'll subdue your lighting if you're not careful. If you start that, your mother was just the same, you know. I've never known anyone like her for saving electricity. <laughs> yeah, so I have a few of my sex dropping in for drinks. Never turn the lights on in the bedroom, huh? Set. Oh, well, say, hey, uh, that Granville, he really knows how to shake a mean Joan Collins. <laughs> Tom Collins. <laughs> I shake who right. you like, and I shake who I like. <laughs> that housekeeper is not having my bachelor pad. Look, Granville, I wish you'd uh, just relax and stop being so Hungarian about everything. No one's going to take away your bachelor pad. Where else would I store all them lavatory cleaners? Right. <laughs> That's another thing. I want them out. They'd an half clash with me Aubrey Beardsley print. Very suitable from what I saw of it. Hey, that reminds me, look, if you're the shopkeeper, she's the housekeeper, what am I going to keep? Your mouth shut. <laughs> We're not going to have a, a living housekeeper. Well, what did you advertise for? It's just a shopkeeper's ploy. It's just that I want to put a little bit of pur 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 pep into my la love life. Oh, yeah. All right. You're a conniving old man, aren't you, eh? <laughs> you are, you devious. You're always up to crafty little tricks. Thank you, Granville. It's very nice of you to say oh, so. I don't know. What am I doing, eh? I live here with this wicked old uncle who's got no scruples. I'm exposed to very little in the way of higher cultural influence. I mean, we never talk about the aspects of the modern novel or Chinese architecture. Now, come on, be honest. When was the last time that we had a chat about Chinese architecture? When they bu built that to take away in Gladstone Street, wasn't it? <laughs> True. I would like to collect delicate porcelain figures. Oh, I'd like to give porcelain for Christmas. You know that Granville? He always gives porcelain for Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd like to advise some of the most beautiful women in the world on how to improve their collections. <laughs> We're getting low on tins of scrumptious again. <laughs> You're a dreamer, you are, porcelain. The nearest you ever come to porcelain is the lavatory seat. <laughs> Your mother was a dreamer and all. At least I think she was. She used to lie down a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what my father did. He did quite enough. <laughs> you know, sometimes I feel as though I might, I might be Hungarian. You're a Bermuda pest, I'll tell you that. <laughs> At least us Hungarians, we know how to sweep our women off their feet. We don't have to advertise for living housekeepers. Hey, hey, that's your point. Supposing some poor woman applies for the job. <laughs> what on the wages I pay? Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> hey, hey, look. Hey, oh. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> There she goes. Where is? Where is? Oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's coming, she's coming. Uh oh. She's gonna kill you. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. Whip this her smartly into wedlock, you watch. Good morning, my bear beloved. I'm not your bear beloved. No, I know, <laughs> you never will be if we don't get on with it. I know what you're doing. I'm a doing without, that's what I'm doing. Right. <laughs> good, Granville, please, get your bike and get them orders out, go on. Oh, I've got cycle fatigue. Get on with it. <laughs> There's no need to shove the poor lad out. There's nothing I've got to say to you he can't hear. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you get worse. And what are you doing That's starting good. all this gossip? Oh, you've been keeping abreast of the local news, have you? And I must say, it's a breast worth keeping. <laughs> get off, you big daft. You've been reading the newspaper, I see. What I've been reading is you, like a book, living housekeeper. Oh, well, you seem superbly qualified from this angle. When can you start? Or have you started? I know what you're doing. Yes, I can do it better if you let, let go of me. <laughs> <laughs> you're trying to rush me into marriage. Rush? Do you call six Wow, years see, a she knows him so well. It's, it's great. It's all a big bluff. If some woman answered this advert, you'd wet your bacon counter. <laughs> <laughs> you'd go to pieces true. in case you found that old tin you keep your money in. <laughs> keep it down. Hmm. 
you boys down about our tin? That's our little nest egg, is that? Well, it's time it was hatched. You've been sitting on it long enough. <laughs> yeah, six quid in there. <laughs> There's a, a chicken in here. <laughs> Oh. You see? <laughs> He's interested with Aaron, so boys. Good. Don't pull his ear, you'll stretch it. Oh, that Granville, he's got long ears, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, love. Hey, you don't oh. like bring him to the bosom. <laughs> <laughs> he's unmanageable at a body temperature like that. Get him out of there. Granville, come on. Granville, come on. Granville. Granville. You're going to charge him come for on. it. <laughs> come on, come on. Watch this. Look, the bounty hunters. Come on, look. <laughs> <laughs> you like those, don't you? Aye, oh, lovely. Yeah, put your money in the till. <laughs> yep. So I'd stayed where I was. More coconuts in there than there is in here. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't pull his oh ear. Oh, it's traditional to handle air and boys by, by the ears, like rabbits. A yep. species with which they have much in common, if you give them half a chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate this till. Yeah, well, and get on with it, won't but bite you. He's <laughs> 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 got me! Look, he's got me! I knew it was! Look! Wow! Have you seen this? <coughs> what do you think? Uh-oh. Hey, can you oh. twist him this way? Careful, careful. This will be a pup fade your cocktail set. <laughs> oh, just, just leave me. Save yourselves. It never lets go. Oh, I think we'd do better without them trousers. Oh, I've been uh, saying that for years. Not yours no. is. Oh, I do. <laughs> oh, great. This is Granville slips nonchalantly out of his trousers. I had hoped it would be in a more romantic setting. Oh, right. <laughs> what have you got on there? Are those my that's shorts? That's not underwear for working in, that's underwear for uh, faffing about in. <laughs> Can you lift your leg? I'm lifting. Mind his leg, leave him alone, it's not your business. Uh, it's time you change this rotten till. Uh, change the uh, till? Right. This has done me very well as this till. Oh no, it's not satisfied with money, it wants blood now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Putting your granville into that till. Oh, no, no. don't worry, Mrs. Bickerdyke. He's just putting a little something away for a rainy day. Dear. <laughs> Cover me up. Cover me up. <laughs> Which part is your up? Strange how Hungarian he looks from some angles. Isn't he? Right. Reminds me, there was this man up in Arnold Crescent. Plumber and wife swapper. In business for himself, he used to wear things like that. You can see them on his clothes line. Mm. I used to think, yes, mister, I don't care what's leaking. You'll never be invited under my sink. Yes. Quite yeah. right, Mrs. Bickerdyke. You keep your waste disposal to yourself. Uh. What's he doing advertising for living housekeepers? Right. Drop dead if anyone applied. He's all wind and economy. What well, the bad for your heart to live in housekeepers? There was him up in Finkel Street. Died very sudden from a living housekeeper. <laughs> they seem to be much more overstimulating than legal wives. And I know what you die of. Acute constriction of the wallet. You might right. be surprised how quickly I would take to a suitable applicant. There will be a warm shopkeeper's welcome waiting for anyone who walks through that door. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, is that Bubbles? <laughs> Listen, the Bubbles the grandma? The, 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 the old, mm. the customer. Customer? Is he talking to me? <laughs> I'm not a customer. She's not a customer. <laughs> no, I'm not a customer. I just come in and We're clear, we're clear, we're clear, we're clear, we're clear, we're shut. Shut? Shut, yes. What's he doing, shut? Don't, don't talk to him, he doesn't even work here. <laughs> <laughs> shut. Right. Uh, on account of the festival. Festival? 
festival. The festival, the Saint Saint Sir 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 Cecil's. We always shut early on Sir Saint Sir Sir Cecil's. No, not Sir 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 Cecil. Just Sir 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 Cecil. Sir 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 Cecil. They just shut early. <laughs> it's one of the biggest uh, shut early in festivals in the whole of York. <laughs> Which one of you fellas is Arkwright? <laughs> it's not me. I'm his live out lady friend. Oh. Well, will you tell him I called in answer to a request from me friend Mrs. Dowdall, who is housebound on account of a terrible knee? <laughs> will you tell him Mrs. Dowdall only requires. Two small brown tomorrow, <laughs> not three. You're all right. Don't worry, I'll tell him, love. No, mm -hmm. thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's more staff than customers in this shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Take one of your green tablets. I think you've developed a fever. Mm -hmm. Fever? I should think I have developed a fever. That's a, a small brown loaf we're down tomorrow. <laughs> see his hand. In any crisis, he goes straight to his wallet. Right. I wish somebody would apply. I love to see him when he gets into a state. It's, uh, where care, 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 where care, 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 shot. Hey, oh, it's the Black Widow. Uh -oh. <laughs> she put the fear of God into him, wouldn't she? <laughs> She'd put the fear of God into God. Yeah. Hey, do you reckon we could persuade her to pretend to apply for the job? Oh! No, just for a laugh, eh? The Black Widow? Aye. To get a laugh out of her, she'd need surgery. <laughs> <laughs> do you think she knows how? <clears throat> Good day to you, Mrs. Featherstone. Is it? Maybe it is if you're young and daft. Life's not so funny for mature persons of a sober disposition. Cold, yeah? Debbie Downer, huh? Mm. All the more reason for us to have a little joke when we get the opportunity. Listen, I will... must you breathe in my ear? <laughs> I'm sure it's seemly, young men breathing in your ear. Mm -hmm. And I hope we'll have no joking when I'm living here. I'll thank you not to go breathing in me ear when I'm your living housekeeper. <laughs> Can you repeat that slowly, please? Mrs. That's right. <laughs> You're going to apply. Oh, can you think of anyone better qualified to lighten the burden of a prosperous businessman? I've always admired the strength of his grip on money. He needs someone by his side. A person of the same sober financial disposition. The Black Widow in his lap. He's in for a shock. Yes, he <laughs> is. We come in to see the fun. <laughs> Don't be too anxious. Give her a moment to break it to him gently. Yeah. <laughs> I'll t take the orders out. <laughs> That's a first. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Good grand bill. What's the shop? <laughs> I'll call again when it's more convenient. <laughs> <laughs> so good. The Black Widow. I've unleashed him a monster. Yeah. I knew it was a bad omen when you caught your trousers in the till. Hello, I thought that's a bit a bit near the knuckle. Mm. Oh, near enough for me, too. <laughs> I've never been able to read tea leaves, but Aaron boys had trousers I can decipher in a flash. Sometimes he may even before they flash. <laughs> mm. oh. Hey, suppose, supposing it's her, the, the Black Widow, Mrs. Fur, 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 Mrs. Fur, 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 you know, her. <laughs> yeah, her. Go and see, go on, Hugo. Mm. Hugo. Hugo. She gives me shivers. I never thought I'd see the day when I was frightened to answer my own bell. <clears throat> Mrs. Featherstone would like a word. Uh -oh. Relax, relax, relax. It's, it's all, it's all for your fella. Oh, <laughs> you? <sighs> you might need to pull that out at this point, huh? a living housekeeper. 
He's just an ordinary customer, of course. <laughs> oh, I love that he's screwing with them. It's great. Supposing she comes in while I'm serving, you go oh, walk. Good morning, can I oh, hang no. out? <laughs> no, 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 I I've got to get out there and sell. I can't just uh, faff about in here. I haven't got, oh. the, got the underwear for it. I <laughs> know, oh, sir, what a little outright bargain can I get you? I'll just get, get my assistant. Come on, I can't. Oh, please. <clears throat> Good morning, can I... Lost the cell, bud. He's gone. Oh, you can let him get away now. Me? God, why is it always my fault, eh? Oh, I hate losing their fully grown customers. The little ones are different. You don't mind to throw in a few of them back there for later. It's true. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. No, don't start going to pieces. Mm. All you got to do is to put the woman off. I don't want her to live here any more than you do. I mean, who wants a living zombie? Right. What I want to know is, how come when she died, they buried her husband? <laughs> but never mind so that. How am I going to put her off? I wish you'd tell me that <laughs> instead of her poking your trousers in the till. It's simple, it's simple. She's only attracted to you because she thinks you're a money grabber and a, a miserly old skin flint. Well, I don't know mm -hmm. where she got that idea from. <laughs> All you got to do is make her think that you're a reckless big spender. A big suspender? No, no, no. I'll try and take your mind off Nurse Gladys's underwear for a minute. Look, if she thinks you're a spender, you know, a big spender, she'll disappear over the horizon. Well, how can I do that? She's the customer, not me. I'm supposed to take the money and then give it a good home. Look, you've been right. threatening to redo the shop front for years, right? You know, listen, let her see you getting that done. That'll frighten her off. But you're going to have to be reckless. Yep. Reckless? Oh, utterly. Reckless. Utterly and reckless. Oh, Granville, I'm, I'm just glad your poor mother isn't here to hear you using all this foul language. How to think about it. Look, it's no, no good. No, no. Please, not another rare rude word. <laughs> to his shop front. I didn't think he was the type. Hmm. Forget to his age, forget the urge to do things with their old fronts. <laughs> I'd have this out. I'd have that out. A full new exterior. A whole expanse of glass. You must go for glass. Mm-hmm. <sighs> What's the matter with your uncle? Oh, he's all right. He gets a sort of sympathetic pregnancy every time large bills start coming due. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 how much? Thirty-eight hundred quid. <laughs> you got to be looking at that. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll t tell you what I'm going to do with you. I'm going to go for p p part of the scheme. You won't regret it. We can transform this place. It'll be like a fairy tale. Uh, Which part of the scheme were you interested in? Well, I'm, go I'm going to go for a whole new, a uh, whole in, in a new, uh, the, oh, the doorknob. <laughs> And the knobs to the lot of you. <laughs> it's been a funny day. Yeah, it's been a weird day. I wish our Granville hadn't got so much loose trouser. Enough room in there for a living housekeeper. <laughs> Fancy getting them caught in the till. Still better Granville's trousers than Mrs. Featherstone's hand. Not True. to mention her trousers. Yeah. God preserve me from ever having to mention her unmentionables. One thing is certain, she'll never get her nicker legs over my washing line. <laughs> 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 
Another great episode. I'm going to be sad when the series ends in a few weeks, but uh, I've enjoyed, I've, I've been enjoying, you know, watching this show. I hope you guys are enjoying watching it with me. I can't believe Granville got his trousers stuck in a freaking till. That That's phenomenal. I mean, what's he going to get ca caught in the till next time? He got the, uh, the tin <clears throat> caught in there. And then now his trousers. I think he's actually got his hand caught in there at one point. So we'll find out in the next episode. With that being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye.